Here I am back again. What's happening people? Here I am back again. So, back in my own country of course, in London, and behind me got this massive supermarket, Korea Food. I've always been curious because I was told that in New Malden, Kingston side, that there's loads of Koreans. So I thought I'd just check it out today because I got a bit of like a free day. So we're gonna go inside, see what's good. And like I've been to Korea, I went in 2017, so I recognize what products they have there. So we'll see if they've got the same, you know. But yeah, follow me. All right, so going in, hopefully, they'll let me film or they'll try and stop me. I don't know, but this could be cool. All right, yeah, so here's my guy, yeah, she, she's come with me today, so... Hello, all. Yeah, say hi to the viewers. So, this is your first time in a Korean yeah. shop, yeah? Yeah. So, what are you expecting here? I mean, what would you actually expect to be in here? I mean, I thought this would be a small shop, but it's a very, very big shop. As you can and see, I mean, look behind me, it's massive. I was expecting it to be small as well. But what, what kind of products would you expect to be in I here? Mean, Korean products are really, really good and fresh, yeah. particularly their vegetables, their way yeah. of doing things. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, we, they're not available in the English supermarkets. Yeah, it's true. It's, it's true. just available in here. Yeah. So I just want to try all those stuff today. Yeah. Actually, to be honest, the reason I came here is because I've been to Korea already and their stuff was really, like I said, it's fresh. But what's weird in Korea, like fresh stuff like vegetables, fruits, they're really expensive. Like I was paying like one dollar for a tomato but i'm wondering if the stuff like fresh stuff will be actually cheaper here than in korea so it'd be really interesting to see it but anyway hey yo so check this yeah at the fruit aisle you got these grapes these are korean grapes it's 12 no 12.99 like 13 pounds for this box of grapes. I mean, they must be amazing. They must be really good quality, but oh my gosh, that, that, that is, that's eye-watering. But then again, you pay for quality, I guess. And you definitely haven't been to Korea if you haven't tried these cakes already. Hey, yo, check this, yeah? So this is like a bulldog sauce, yeah? Most people can't handle this. This literally makes people cry. Do you dare try it? No? <laughs> but it's reduced, it's 99p, man. Know. And this might be the most important aisle in any Korean shop. Like if you're like me, yeah, and you like instant noodles, like in Korea they've got like the best in the world, like they're well renowned for the best like instant noodles on the planet. They're almost they're a meal in themselves. And right now I'm just in paradise with all this. You see that shelf behind me, those noodles, yeah, they are dangerous, they've got, they should, they should have like a warning attached, like, I've had the 2X before, and it literally like, puts your mouth on fire, but, you know, if you're up to, if you're up for the challenge, yeah, give them a go. Uh, behind me you've got like, what they call jojujang, which is like the Korean chili sauce, and it's kind of made with um, a bit of a rice paste as well in there. And it's typical in any Korean restaurant you go to, in Korea or outside of Korea. They always give you it on the table. And if you know, you can ask for the extra hot one that they don't put on the table. And that one will just literally blow your head off. But yeah, it's, it's typical in every dish almost. And luckily enough, there's even a Southeast Asian aisle where you've got like Indonesian, Thai, Malaysian. So you've got all that as well. So that's kind of cool. Oh. So my guy, yeah, he's checking out the banana sauce, yeah. This is very typical in the Philippines. Like, 
I don't know where it originated. I think it actually came from Cuba or somewhere like that, but it's made of bananas, but it looks and tastes like ketchup. So if you remember from my Malaysia video, I had nasi lemak on that day. And this sambal, sambal ikan bilis, which is uh, with anchovies, it's like an integral flavor in that dish. And this is not a bad price. This is $1.99. I'm getting one of these. I also, also got like the you know, like Hong Kong, Chinese, Southeast Asian noodles as well. And they're in a different aisle from the Korean noodles. And I think they might be slightly cheaper as well. But really good selection. There's loads behind me. You see this one, yeah. I used to get this in Thailand all the time. I can't even place the flavor. They call it uh, Genmai or Genmai. But it's got like an interesting... I can't even explain it exactly, but I just used to drink it a lot when I used to live there. But yeah, this drink style here, you've got all like some Korean drinks, you've got Thai drinks. It's kind of cool. And you see these tiny little pouches here where it's got about 200 mils of drink in it. These are usually like concentrated and super sweet and then what you do, you pour it in like a cup with a ton of ice and then it will sort of dilute as it melts. I always get fascinated when I go to different countries and see the different soft drinks they have because they look so different to the ones that we have in the UK. A lot more colourful I feel. Hey yo, check it out, I've hit the jackpot here, yeah, they've got Korean Dr. Pepper. How amazing is that Korean Dr. Pepper? I had this ages ago when I was in Korea. This is amazing. So for the most part, the cost of the stuffs in here is not actually much more than I would actually pay in Korea itself. Maybe because of the taxes in Korea or whatever. But yeah, it's a really good deal. I'm quite impressed so far. Now you can see behind me, yeah, they've got all like, they've got Old Town coffee from Malaysia. They've got Vietnamese coffee, like instant ones. They've got pretty everything you need. But I want to show you guys the Korean coffee that's very typical. Like you see this Maxim coffee, yeah? like they come in these really long sachets and it's quintessential in Korea. You find them everywhere. Every shop has them. Even you go to some guest houses and they just give them out in the morning for breakfast. But it's really good. It's a very decent one. But one secret most people will tell you, you need at least two sachets to make a full cup. If not, it only makes like a little bit, you know. Now here's something that blew my mind when I first went to Korea and it confused me. And it's this. This, to most people in the Western Hemisphere or even most of the world, this looks like jam. And the guest house I stayed in Seoul, I put this on bread one morning and I thought, mm, tastes a bit weird. It turns out it's not jam, it's tea. Like they mix a spoonful of this in hot water and it makes like a fruit tea. I thought it was jam. Crazy, right? But these are real typical in Korea. Like this one is um, citron tea. It's like hun honey and lemon. But yeah, yeah, totally different world. So these packets you see down this aisle, these are very typical in Korean supermarkets as well. Like a lot of people don't have time to cook, so they just buy these, put them in the microwave. So get this, yeah, this is on special offer, yeah, 79p. They used to cost more than that in Korea. And one of these, and one of these, would literally make a meal. Like, just rice and curry, yeah? And the whole meal would come to like, what, like $2. It was a really good deal. And as you can see, yeah, they're like the same brand as well, Otogi, which is a pretty prominent brand in Korea. So yeah, two of these, and even here, combined, this curry packet is 150, and this, the rice, 79p, so think about it, yeah, £2.30 for a whole entire Korean meal. Not bad at all, is it? Yeah, so check it, so you've got Korean bakery behind me, you've got these red bean donuts for £5.50 for two. That, that, that's making my eyes water. I've never spent £5.50 on anything my entire life. 
Hey, yeah, so I just found the kimchi, yeah? It's mad cheap, you know, like 99p. It's the same price as in Korea, almost. Oh, this seems really immature of me, yeah? But um, this can of drink is called cool piss. That's, what it's, that's how it's pronounced in Korea, cool piss. <laughs> that's, that's something else. You see this snack here? This is very typical in Thailand. I used to eat this daily, like when I was sat in my office or whatever, yeah? And it's one of the cheapest crisps. Literally cheap as anything. These cost like 20 pence in Thailand. Here, £1.90. I ain't paying that. Yeah, check this. So, I had one like this in Asia before, and it's got a kind of apple weird like sweet taste but it's kind of a fried noodle you just mix it up dry you know so as you can see yeah, we've got like a huge frozen section and everything else you might need and here's where we've been hiding all the kimchi all the good stuff and I can't believe red bean is actually a flavor but for now, I'm done for the day because my parking's nearly ran out and I've overspent. I probably bought a lot more than I really needed. But this place is just cool. So I'm going to head to the checkout now and see how much all this comes to. So far, this is what I've basically filled up with. I got this. I don't know how much it's going to come to and it's kind of impulse buying, but I will eat it. But we'll see anyway. So I paid for everything and I'm actually pleasantly surprised like all of that came to 29.15 Not bad at all. 30 quid for all that. So leaving and yeah a bit of impulse buying for the day. Really cool place, loads of stuff. I would definitely recommend coming here. So anyway the place is called Korea Foods. It's in New Molden, Kingston. And yeah, they got free parking for, for, for up to two hours. So yeah, I definitely recommend it. And it's literally like stepping into Korea. It's amazing.